Hey guys, Brandon here with True Fly Supply coming back at you with another Fly Tying 101. And in this month's box, we gave out the Brassy. It's a really awesome nymph pattern. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. And for this fly, go ahead and take your hooks and your beads and go ahead and put a bead on your hook and put it in the vise. After that, go ahead and start your thread wraps. And we're gonna bring our thread all the way back to the back of the shank of the hook here just like so. Then we're gonna go ahead and trim off the excess. From there, go ahead and take your copper brassy wire and trim you off a section, probably about three inches in length. This fly likes to take a lot of wire, so give yourself plenty of room. And tie it on either side of the hook. I always like to put it on the side of the hook that's facing me, just makes it a little bit easier when working with the wire. That way I can see everything. And I'm just using my thread to make sure that it's nice and secure. Now what you're gonna do is bring your thread all the way up to just behind the bead and let it rest. Now, when you start wrapping your wire, go ahead and take care at the very beginning to make sure that your wire is laying nice and flat because what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep wrapping this wire all the way up the hook with touching thread wraps. Now this is, this is gonna be one of those flies that's gonna be hard to get absolutely perfect with your wire wraps, so don't try and stress on it too much. Just get them closely touching as possible. And if you can get them completely touching as you advance your wire forward, even better. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep with the wire going forward. Now brassy wire is thicker than your normal ribbing wire, so that does tend to help a little bit in this process. Once you've brought it up to the bead on the hook, go ahead and tie it off. I give it two wraps around the wire to tie it in. Give it a few thread wraps, and then I do two more wraps around the wire to really secure it in. Once you have your wire secured in, go ahead and get rid of the excess by helicoptering it off. I don't like to use my scissors because it will dull your scissors over time. Go ahead and take your peacock curl and you can do this with one strand, but kind of a quick trick that I found in order to tie this a lot quicker is just to use two strands because it kind of helps as far as building up that bulk rather quickly. Now the reason why I'm tying it in the middle here is these ends on this peacock curl look to be a little, a little brittle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it in the middle where the hurl is a little bit thicker. So then just go ahead and take your peacock curl and all we're doing is building up a nice collar. Doesn't have to be super big, but I do want to see a little bit of bulk in it, just like so. Now, once you have that, go ahead and finish it by tying it down with your thread. Just getting those out of the way there. And then what I like to do is just go ahead and gently break them off. And that's all there is to it. Once you have your peacock curl collar laid down, just go ahead and whip finish. And you have yourself a nice little brassy there. Anyways, we sent out the brassy in this month's box. That's how to tie it. You can find tying boxes like this on our website. Just head on over to trueflysupply.com. Hit the subscribe button and there you will find all sorts of supply drops that we offer. All right, see you in the next month.